Welcome to the Structure Studio's online video series. This video will explain Stage 6, Steps and Benches. In this stage, you'll create the steps and benches inside the pool and spa. Any shape you want to draw under the water will be created in this stage. For this video, we'll set our grid to one foot and head to the Snaps menu to turn on Point, Line, and Grid. We'll also set the angle to World Angle and turn on Auto Complete. Our design already has a pool and spa in it. We'll start by adding the tanning ledge to our pool. Activate the Outline tool. Click the inside pool line at the bottom left corner of the pool and click again to start the outline. Move your mouse to the right 10 feet and left click to stop the line. Left click the orange endpoint to set the offset. Move your mouse up 8 feet and click to create the tanning ledge. Once the step is complete, we'll notice a green line around the pool. This tells us this step is linked to the pool. The software will automatically link the shapes together. The step must be linked to the shape that it should appear inside of. We can also manually link steps as needed. With the step selected, click the Link To button in the panel. Our cursor now has a question mark. This indicates the shape to link to needs to be chosen. We want this step linked to our pool. In the panel, we can also customize the step. Let's head to 3D to review each setting. The first option is Depth. All the stages we have reviewed so far have a Height option. Steps and Benches use Depth. The Depth tells us how far from the top of the beam the step is. Our step is currently set to 1 foot. Let's raise it to 9 inches. This will place our tanning ledge right below our tile line. Below Depth, we see an option for Rounded. When active, the lip of the step is round. We can adjust the radius of the lip as well. To create a hard edge, turn off Rounded. We'll keep Rounded on. The next option is Trim Tile. We can choose between None, Band, or Accent. None will remove the trim tile from our step. Band will add a strip of tile along the front edge. We can adjust the width of the band and where the tile is placed on the step. We'll set the width to 1 inch distance and distance to 2 inches from the front of the step. To add the band around the entire step, turn on All Edges. The last trim tile type is Accent. This creates individual tiles along the front edge. Just like with the band, we can adjust the size, distance, and have the tiles appear on all edges. The accent tiles look nice, but we'll switch back to band for our tanning ledge. Let's head back to 2D to add steps from the tanning ledge into the pool. We can draw the next step the same way as we drew the first, or we can use auto pool steps to quickly create steps for us. Let's press delete on our keyboard to delete the step we drew. Now click the Auto Pool Steps button. When we move our mouse onto the grid, the step is attached to our cursor. As we drag the step over the pool or spa, it changes direction to attach to that side of the shape. When we move the step onto the wall of our tanning ledge, it automatically extends to 10 feet to fill the space. Left click to place it. Once placed, the Auto Pool Step will calculate how many steps are needed to reach the pool floor. It calculates we need three for this area. To create the tanning ledge, click the midpoint of the first step and move your mouse up to set the width to 8 feet. Now right-click on the steps and press View in 3D to see how they look. Our steps look great. Once our Auto Steps are set, it's important to convert them. Auto pool steps are not included in smart data calculations such as rebar and concrete, and we cannot outline auto steps or snap to them. Click the Convert to Steps button in the panel. Once converted, each step becomes an individual shape. Now we'll head back to 2D to add more steps. Click Auto pool steps. As we move our mouse onto the grid, we see the step attached to our cursor. We also see Step Options in the panel. We can choose between Normal, Arc, Corner, Rounded, and Square. 
As we select each option, the shape of the step in our cursor updates. Select Arc Corner. The step is shaped like an arc. As we move it around the pool, it will snap to corners and the center of arcs. If placed on the pool wall, the step will turn red, telling us it cannot be created in this location. Let's place the step on the bottom right corner of the pool. We'll reduce the step count to one to create a corner bench. The size of the bench can be adjusted with the purple endpoints. Click each endpoint and extend both sides to three feet. Let's also set the depth to one foot six inches and press convert to steps. Once the auto step is converted, the line thickness becomes the same as a drawn step. Now we'll add another bench. Click Auto Pool Steps. Select the normal step and place it on the right pool wall. Reduce the step count down to one to create a bench. We want this bench to extend all the way down to our corner bench, so we'll drag the bottom purple endpoint. Once it reaches the corner bench, the Auto Pool Step will automatically follow the shape of the corner bench. Let's set the width of this bench to one foot three inches and head to 3D to take a look. We notice the auto pool step has a hard edge at the pool floor. Once converted, the pool cove automatically applies. Each bench also has its own trim tile line. Since they have the same depth, we can combine them into one shape. We'll head back to 2D to union them. Hold down Control and left click the bench and corner bench. Once both shapes are highlighted in white, Press the Union button to merge the benches. Now it's time to add a bench to our spa. Click Auto Steps. Place the step inside of the spa. When an auto step is placed in a spa, the count will be one automatically. To wrap the bench around the entire spa, click the purple endpoint on the spa wall to wrap the shape all the way around. Now we'll set the width to one foot six inches and press Convert to Steps. Once our pool and spa are complete with steps and benches, we can save it to the library as a template to use in future projects. Click the Library button to open the library. Hold down and left-click the pool and spa to select them. Now click the Save to Library button in the bottom left corner. Select the Pools category, and then Geometric. We'll name our template 32 foot with spa and tanning ledge and click OK to save it. Let's head back to 3D to see our design. Everything looks great. Later in the material stage, we can apply unique materials to both the top and face of our steps and select a variety of tile options. This completes instruction on steps and benches. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com help.